Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about subnetting for IPv6, or I should say lack thereof, because in IPv6, there is no subnetting. But CCMP Seth, why isn't there subnetting? We do it in IPv4, but IPv6, there are so many addresses that there's no need to. And I'll explain how uh, IP addresses are going to be handed out by the internet service providers. So, in IPv6, there is 340 undecillion IP addresses available uh, compared to 4.3 billion IPv4 addresses. Uh, undecillion, that's like 10 to the 38th or 39th power. That's how many zeros there are behind 340. Like, that, that's just so much. So there is no need to split up a network address like a class A, class B for, for uh, IPv4 to break them into smaller networks. That's There's just no need for it. Um, let's see, ISPs will hand out a slash 48 prefix to a customer or company and remember there is a 120, there's 128 bits in a IPv4 address, or I'm sorry, IPv6 address versus IPv4's 32 bit address. So you could just see there when it comes to network bits and host bits, if an ISP gives you 48 network bits then what does that leave you with? 80? Does that sound right? Nope. 80? Yeah, 80 bits for the host. Holy crap. When we're subnetting with IPv4, we're only used to like 10 host bits, you know, that would give us like 1,000, 22 users, things like that. But if an ISP is giving us 48 networking bits and we have 80 host bits, like that is just so many hosts that we can have, so many IP addresses. So that's why there's no reason for subnetting IPv6. So how is that going to work? Uh, well, based on the rules for IPv6, uh, IANA or ARIN for the United States, they will hand out IP addresses with a slash, well they are in charge and they have a slash 16 prefix. Uh, when it comes to public uh, IPv6 addresses, everything is going to start with 2001, or, or at least there's going to be a 2 at the very beginning. And just know that there's so many more IP addresses in the first uh, hextet. They're calling it hextet instead of octets. But IANAs, they're handing out 2001s at the very beginning of the IPv6 addresses. So they'll hand out slash 32 prefixes to a ISP. Now what do you mean a uh, prefix of 32? Well, an IPv6 address is all hexadecimal uh, digits. So each, each number right there is actually 4 bits. So a 2 in hex looks like this in binary. 0010. So remember in hex it goes all the way from 0 all the way down to F that is a 5 F and that means all four bits are turned on which you add that up turns into 15 smiley face so that's where we get this slash 32 right here because each hextet equals 16 bits so they hand out a slash 32 prefix to an ISP alright not a big deal ISP 1 all the way to 3 they just give them a slash 32 prefix, 1111 for ISP1, 1112 for ISP2, so on and so forth. And then the ISP has whatever they want back. Like They could do whatever they want with the other, what is it, 98 bits? 98? What is 128 minus 32? 96 bits? Yeah, looks like 96 bits. Yeah. So they could do whatever they want with the uh, 96 host bits. And what uh, they are actually going to be using, let me get rid of all this, is they'll hand out uh, a prefix of a 48 to a company. So let's say company A got, a, I got an IP address, an IPv6 address from ISP3. So they gave them uh, a 48 prefix and it is 0001 so this company can do uh, 
anything they want with the rest of their host bits. But their networking bit or their uh, their network is 2001 uh, colon 1113 colon 0001. And that's just how ISPs are going to hand out addresses. So company B comes in was like, all right, I want an IP address and I'm going to get it from ISP3. All right, same thing. Well, they just look at their little spreadsheet, see what uh, available IP addresses they have, and they give them another slash 48 prefix. And if it's the next one in line, then they give them a 0002. And this goes on for all the rest of the companies out there uh, that want to get it from ISP3. You know, go 0003, and then 0004, so on and so forth. And remember, the ISP, as long he owns everything uh, behind a 1113. So just imagine all of that, all of the IP addresses that ISP3 uh, has available. So he could even give out. Um, if it started with 1113, it could be F, 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 F. And remember, this right here is all 16, uh, 16 bits right here, which means 16 bits, if you remember in IPv4, 16 bits equals 65,536 possible addresses. So ISP3 could give out 65,000 IP addresses to a customer and they still have a 48 uh, they have a 48 bit prefix and they could use the other I don't know what it is 80 bits 80 bits to use like oh my gosh that's why there's no need for subnetting and these are all public IP addresses too so that's how IPv6 works and that's why there's no need for subnetting in IPv6. I um, uh, hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Alright, one thing I'd like to add uh, about uh, when companies get an IP address and they get a slash 48 prefix, they have 80 bits that they can use to uh, use as host bits so 80 bits yeah that's cool but remember they also want to split up their network they don't want all their all of their uh, they don't want their whole network to be just one network so what let's say a company will do is they could split it up to a slash 64 prefix 64 and let's say the first three hex tets are 0002 then they could just start giving out whatever network. Let's say uh, the user VLAN um, is using an IPv6 address. So they'll have the first 48 prefix and then they could uh, give a network, you know, again, 0000. That could be for, you know, the, uh, the user VLAN. And then if they have a VoIP VLAN, they just give it a slash 64 prefix and it could be with 0001 slash 64 and they still have the rest uh, the other 64 bits as you know used for hosts things like that uh, you could have the printer VLAN you know printer on 0002 slash 64 so subnetting all you do is you just change the prefix and just give it a number like there's no need to find the magic number or the rotator like an IPv4 so that was just one addition that I wanted to add to uh, the, the why there's no subnetting in IPv6. So, yep. Um, hope that I give you a little bit under, a little bit better understanding how a company will utilize a slash 48. But it's there's no reason to subnet. You just change the prefix, give it another number, and then bam, that's your network. And yeah, companies they have a 48, so they have 80 bits they could use as hosts with whatever they want. They could change it to network bits if they want to. So, all right. Quick addition.